Welcome everyone. We're here in the library today to talk about the new One Button Recording Studio. This studio is an automated recording studio and it's super simple to use. You just need to come to the library with a 3.0 USB stick and check out the key to the studio from the circulation desk. You may reserve the room in advance using the consort catalog and we will be walking you through this in a moment. The studio can be used to record digital stories as well as presentations for class. Faculty may want to use this also for recording their lectures in advance. And others may decide that they want to use it to practice interviewing skills. It has a wide variety of possibilities, limited only by your imagination. So let's go take a look at the new studio. Welcome to the One Button Studio here on the second level of the library. This room during COVID-19 times uh, has an occupancy of just one person. But you can imagine in the future bringing someone here to do an interview with them, as well as a few people to do a promotional film, for example. Um, here in this room, the uh, podium is right near the door, and it's a very simple setup. You see that we have a USB hub right here on the desktop of the podium. It doesn't matter which port I use for my 3.0 USB jump drive. So I'm just going to put the USB um, drive right into that hub and you'll see that it says waiting for USB drive to mount. It's now mounted. The light comes on right on top of the podium. And let's take a look at the entire space now. Over here, you'll see that we do have soundproofing, not only on this wall, but on the opposite wall. Um, we have lighting up in the ceiling that automatically turns on, as well as the microphone. So when I return to the podium, I see clear instructions on the screen. I have start and stop recording with the red button. So here's my red button. Looks like an easy button. And use the green button to turn the green screen on or off. And you can see that right now I have the green screen on. So I'll click that button. And now the green screen is off. And you just see that uh, bluish gray background now. So I'll turn it back on. And now I'm going to begin recording. So I will tap this red button. I get a countdown and then I can come over here to the chair and get comfortably seated in order to begin my presentation for the class. The other thing that I can do is take advantage of this green screen. I'm going to move my chair out of the way and I'll stand off here to the side so that I can gesture and point to my first slide of information. And now, here's my second slide with more facts on it. It's as simple as that. Once I'm done with my presentation, I will return to the podium and I'll click that red button. It tells me recording has stopped. And then I must be patient. It's now writing the file to the USB drive and tells me to please wait.
and now it's been successfully copied to the USB drive and I can remove that USB drive from the hub. The system automatically turns off, the lights go off and you're done. You can take your footage, bring it into any kind of editing program, drop in slides if you've done the green screen, or just take that file and upload it to YouTube or to your Google Drive to share with others. Thanks. Let's take a look at how you can reserve the One Button Studio using the Consort Catalog. Currently, I am in My Denison, and I'm going to use the shortcut to the library homepage right here in the upper right. When I roll down on the New tab, I see right here that we have a link to the Consort Catalog. I'll click on that tab, and then I will change from Keyword to Title. Next, I will type in one button and search. I am now on the page to book this material. So you see the title, One Button Studio Key, and I'm going to click Book This Material link. Next, I will fill in my name. And then I need to put in my barcode as it is shown on the back of my ID. And that barcode number is right here. So let's go ahead and type that in. And click the submit button. Now I can reserve the room for tomorrow and let's say at 2.30 and then I'll end my reservation at 3.30. Finally, I'll click the submit button and my reservation is made. And that's all there is to it.